Welcome back to my math class and our topic for this tutorial video is factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. So before we proceed to our pro proper lessons, we need to remember how to find the cube of a given number or expression. So for example, this one, two cube. So we will multiply two to itself three times for the solutions that is two times 2 times 2 and the product is equal to 8 therefore the cube of 2 is equal to 8 another example 5 cube so if we will rewrite it into expanded form this is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 which is equal to 125 therefore the cube of 5 is equal to 125 so i hope from these two examples you know remember how to find the cube of a given number or expressions another prior knowledge that we need to remember and is anchored with finding the cube of a given expressions and this is the cube root for example what is the cube root of 8? Think of a number that when it multiplied by itself 3 times, the answer is 8. And that is 2. Another example. Cube root of 125. And the cube root of 125 is equal to 5. What if you need to find the cube root of a given variables naman? For example, x cube. What is the cube root of x cube? This is equal to 8. So, cancel natin yung cube root at yung 3 na exponent ni x na nasa loob ng radical sign. Ang natira ay x. Another example Cube root of m cube. This is equal to m. Cancel lang natin yung si 3 at si cube root na 3. Ang naiwan ay si m. Meaning, finding the cube root is the reverse process of finding the cube of a certain number or expressions. I make it simple for you so you can follow the discussions later on. You need to have this table. The table of cube roots and the table of cubes. Yeah, so this is the table of cubes. And dyan na lahat ng sagot which is 1 cube is equal to 1, 2 cube is equal to 8, 3 cube is equal to 27 and so on and so forth. And then since Finding the cube root is the reverse process of finding the cube of a certain number. Ilalagay lang natin sa loob ng radical sign yung ating product on sa table of cubes. Like this one. Cube root of 1 is equal to 1. Cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Cube root of 27 is equal to 3. And so on and so forth. This is the pattern for factoring sum and difference of two cubes in where the factored form is always a binomial and a trinomial. If the given polynomial is a sum of two cubes, then we will use addition for the binomial factor. And if the given polynomial is a difference of two cubes, then we will use subtraction for the binomial factor. Sa madaling salita, kung ang given natin ay addition, then addition din ang gagamitin natin kay binomial factor. Kung subtraction naman, subtraction din si binomial factor. Then, for the trinomial factor, the order of operation is always subtraction, then addition. Do not interchange. Bawal pagbalik ta rin. Yung mauuna yung plus and then minus. Dahil sa checking, hindi natin makukuha yung ating original given polynomial. And then, the order of operation for difference of two cubes are both addition. For each term of 
the binomial factor, it is the cube root of the terms in the given polynomial. So, A is the cube root of A cube. And B is the cube root of B cube. So, this process is also applicable to the difference of two cubes. Sa pareho lang ang pagkuha. Okay? Nagkaiba lang sa pattern ng order of operation. The trinomial factor is based from the binomial factor. So, the first term A squared is the square of the first term in the binomial factor, which is A. And then, AB is the product of the terms in the binomial factor, which is A and B. So, A times B equals AB. And then, AB. And then, the last term of the trinomial factor, B squared, is the square of the second term in the binomial factor. Example number one. C cubed plus 8. First, we will look for the operation used. It is addition. Therefore, the pattern for the binomial and the trinomial factor is, andun yung kodigo natin sa taas, the, binom the binomial factor will use addition. And for the trinomial factor, it will use subtraction, then addition. This is, is step 1. For step 2, we will get the cube root of the terms in the original in the given polynomial, which is C cubed and the cube root of 8. The cube root of C cubed is equal to C. Cancel natin yun. Naiwan na lang C, C. And the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. These are the terms for the binomial factor. So, ilagay natin siya kay binomial factor. C and 2. Therefore, the binomial factor is C plus 2. Step 3. Step 3 is we will square C. So, the square of C is equal to C squared. It is now the first term of the trinomial factor. I will use same color, green. C squared. Step 4. We will multiply... C and 2. Saan ko nakuha si C and 2? It is the terms in the binomial factor. Ayun, si C at saka si 2. And C times 2 is equal to 2C. 2C is the middle term of the trinomial factor. 2, 2C. Step 5. This is our last step. We will square the second term of the binomial factor, which is 2. So, the square of 2 is equal to 4. 4 now is the third term of the trinomial factor. And now... The factored form of C cubed plus 8 is C is the product of C plus 2 and C squared minus 2C plus 4. This is our final answer. Example number 2. D cubed plus 27. So, again, ang ginamit na operation ay addition. So, it is a sum of 2 cubes. Therefore, the binomial factor will use addition. 
And for the trinomial factor, it will use subtraction, then addition. This is our step 1. Step 2. Step 2 is we will find the cube root of d cube and 27. The cube root of d cube is d. Cancel on it yun. And the cube root of 27, tignan sa inyo mga papel, the cube root is equal to 3. Therefore, the binomial factor of d cube plus 27 is d plus 3. Step 4, we will square d. And the square of d is equal to d squared. This is now the first term of the trinomial factor. Step 5. We will multiply d and 3. Sa so, nakuha si d at 3, ito po yung mga terms ng ating binomial factor. Si d at si 3. Okay, and the product is equal to 3d. This is now the middle term of the trinomial factor. Step 5. Ah, step 5. Wala tayong step 3. Sobrahin natin, mali ang paglagay ko ng step. Hindi marunong magbilang si ma'am. Step 3, step 4. So, the step for step 5, which is the last step, we will square... 3. And the square of 3 is equal to 9. Sa so, ako nakuha si 3, ito po yung ating second term kay binomial factor. So, this is 9. 9. Okay? Therefore, the factored form of d cubed plus 27 is the product of d plus 3 and d squared minus 3d plus 9. This is our final answer. Example number 3. e cubed minus 1. So, as you can see, it uses subtraction. Therefore, the operation for the binomial factor is subtraction. And for the trinomial factor are both addition. This is step 1. Next is, is step 2. For step 2, we will get the cube root of e cube and the cube root of 1. The cube root of e cube, cancel lang yung c3, exponent na 3 at c cube root. Ang naiwan ay ang E. For cube root of 1, tignan ulit yung mga hawak ninyong papel. The cube root of 1 is 1. Therefore, the binomial factor is E minus 1. Step 3. O, oh, yan. Magaling na ako magbilang. Step 3. We will square E. Saan ko nakuha si E? Si E po ay ang first term ng ating binomial factor. And the square of E is equal to E squared. So, this is the first term of the trinomial factor. Step 4. For step 4, we will multiply E and 1. Saan ko nakuha si E and 1? Kay binomial factor. Ito si E, ito si 1. And E times 1 is equal to 1E. E. E si 1 invisible, kaya E na lang. So, this is E. Last step is step 5. We will get the square of 1. And the square of 1 is equal to 1. And this is the third term of the trinomial factor. It is now complete. The factored form of e cubed minus 1 is the product of e 
minus 1 and e squared plus e plus 1. This is our final answer. Example number 4. Factored out, factor out f cubed minus 64. It uses, as you can see, it uses subtraction. Therefore, the pattern for the binomial factor is subtraction. And for the trinomial factor, it will use addition and addition. This is step 1. Step 2. We will get the cube root of f cubed and the cube root of 64. The cube root of f is equal to f and the cube root of 64 is, tignan ang mga hawak na papel, this is 4. Therefore, the binomial factor is equal to f minus 4. Step 3. Step 3, we will square f. And the square of f is equal to f squared. Saan ko nakuha si f? Itong first term ni binomial factor. So, this is f squared. Step 4. Yeah, panay bago ang color. Para makita yung pag iba ng kulay. Step 4, we will multiply f times 4. And f times 4 is equal to 4f. So, lagay natin kay middle term ay 4f. And for the last term, is step 5. We will square 4. And the square of 4 is equal to 16. Lagay na natin siya kay third term of the trinomial factor. And the final answer is the factored form of f cubed minus 64 is equal to the product of f minus 4 and f squared plus 4f plus 16. This is now the final answer. Tatlo pa lang yan. So, sana nasusundan na ng iba. Another example. 125 G cube plus 27. It is a sum of 2 cubes. Ayun, nasa gitna. Ang ginamit ay addition. Therefore, the binomial factor will use addition. And the trinomial factor is subtraction, then addition. This is step 1. Step 2. Step 2. What is, what is the cube root? Of 125 G cube. This, this is equal to 5 G. The cube root of 125 is 5 and the cube root of G cube is G. Okay? And the cube root of 27 is equal to Excuses. 3. Again. Therefore, the binomial factor is equal to 5G plus 3. Yusog natin yung parenthesis. Sayang sa space. Ayan. Yun. Next, step 4. Step 4. Next, step 3. 
Kailangan data ni teacher ang sulat niya. We will square 5G. Saan ko nakuha si 5G? Ito po ang ating, ayun, first term kay binomial factor. And the square of 5G is equal to 25G squared. Isulat natin ito kay first term of the trinomial factor. Step 4. We will multiply 5G and 3. Saan ko nakuha yan? Dito sa ating binomial factor. And 5G times 3, so 5 times 3 equals 15. Copy na lang si G. So, the middle term is 15G. Step 5. Last step. Step, step 5. And we will square 3. And the square of 3 is equal to 9. Ayan, pilit pinagkakasya ni ma'am. Therefore, the third term of the trinomial factor is 3. 9. Ayan. This is our final answer. Another example. 8 minus 343. Musog. 343. H cube. Okay, so as you can see, it uses subtraction. Therefore, the binomial factor is will use minus. And for the trinomial factor, it will use positive addition and addition. This is step one. Step two. Step two. We will get the cube root of 8 and the cube root of 343H cube. The cube root of 8 is equal to 2 and the cube root of 343H cube is, tignan ang inyong mga papel, 7H. The cube, root, the cube root of 343 is 7 and the cube root of h cube is h. Therefore, the binomial factor is 2 minus 7 h. Step 3. Step 3. Ano ba yung blue? Step 3. We will square... 2. And the square of 2 is equal to 4. Ayan. And this is the first term of our trinomial factor. Step Step 4. We will multiply 2 and 7 each. And the product is equal to 14 each. Therefore, the middle term is 14H. Last step. Step 5. We will square 7H. And the square of 7H is equal to 7 times 7 is 49. H times H is H squared. And this is the third term of the trinomial factor. Hindi ka siya. Okay. Ulitin ko ang pagsulat. Ha? Ulitin natin ang pagsulat. Para magkasya. Plus 14H plus 49H squared. That's all for this topic. So, for your assignment, Answer this activity 3, it can be seen on your enrichment activities, factoring sum and difference of 2 cubes. I have an additional instructions. While answering this activity, 
Don't forget to take a photo of yourself, then send it to our Google Classroom together with your answer in this activity. And that's all. Thank you and goodbye. Have a nice day!